Good morning. We're setting up for our uh, live uh, introduction meeting. And uh, we're just uh, sitting at home here, getting ready. So we're getting ready, we're getting ready. We're here live on YouTube. Now, I believe this is the first time that I have actually gone live on YouTube. And so I wanna give sort of an introduction to those of you who, who don't know who I am, uh, some information about me and, um, and also uh, give that introduction to uh, our Total Eclipse Foundation training. We are accepting students. You see, we want people to uh, kind of get a feel for me on, uh, on YouTube. So we're going to change our, uh, our virtual background <laughs> and, um, and get started. So let's change our virtual background if it lets me. These are the tools of the trade. We use our computers and we use what we call a steno machine. And um, we write verbatim. We provide verbatim transcripts for legal transcription, uh, for legal proceedings. And also we use this skill to provide what we call captions to the deaf and hard of hearing community. So many times uh, people are hard of hearing, right? They're hard of hearing, they have a problems. Uh, some are born deaf and they will use captions, even though their first language is uh, American Sign Language or a deaf language, um, they will use um, captions at times. But usually closed captions are for those who are born English speakers and maybe for, uh, due to a condition um, they have lost their hearing or they become uh, profoundly uh, hard of hearing and so they use captions and we can provide captions for meetings captions in the classroom captions at church even captions online and we use the scale of stenography uh, we're going to change our our background here and uh, show you another virtual screen Okay, we're going to bring this screen up here. Uh, so my name is Tari Gibson. Um, I can say that I have gained a lot of skills through the years. Uh, my first skill is stenography. I became a professional stenographer in the year of 1981 to the present and continue on forward as long as we can. Uh, we use the skill of stenography to capture the spoken word and to produce a verbatim record. We also use the same skill for uh, captions. We're called caption providers, we call cart providers, uh, cart captioner, we're called cart broadcaster or broadcaster captioner. So we're known by many names and uh, the closed captions are usually seen on television and people turn on their closed captions in movies and, and you know, different things that they watch because they wanna know what is being said. So I'm gonna share a PowerPoint with you and uh, to help uh, give you a little more clarity about who I am. I am a Total Eclipse trainer. I am an authorized Total Eclipse trainer and the company that has created the software is called Advantage, and they can be found at EclipseCat.com. We use this software uh, to train. Um, I, put, I uh, provide foundation training uh, for individuals or for groups. Now, there are four ways uh, that I train. We create uh, foundation training, as I indicated, for individuals and also for groups. We have what's called topic chosen by the student. So this is for the, the uh, advanced uh, learner or the advanced user of the Total Eclipse uh, software. And we also have a survey uh, that we provide for those who are users of the software to see where they may be weak and where they may need some training. We also have what's called the webinar membership. Uh, for uh, 
those who are independent learners, they are very uh, independent. They want to have control of their schedule and their time when they want to uh, to look to uh, to learn the software. Um, in some cases, their lives are, are very busy. You know, they're they're very busy, and sometimes their schedule from day to day is not the same. And so, that webinar membership, the Total Eclipse webinar membership, is for that individual. This is a little information about myself and Chicago Vocational High School, which is now called the Chicago Vocational Career Academy, is where I started my career uh, training, uh, learning stenography. I went to the Chicago College of Commerce, and then through the years, I've taken classes at Cambridge College, uh, took some business training courses for course design, and I am a certified Christian life coach and life coach. Uh, qualifications, you know, as a stenographer, we're always encouraged to become certified. And of course, in some states, it's required that you are certified in order to work. Uh, certification uh, shows that you have a foundation, skill in stenography, grammar, and uh, certain medical terminology and legal terms as a stenographer. And so those are my uh, certifications on um, there. Uh, I have over 35 years experience. As I indicated, I started my career in 1981 as a freelance court reporter. And uh, through the years, I've worked in the Superior Court. I was a federal official, a mass, uh, mass uh, contract. I was on a contract uh, as a car provider with the Massachusetts Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. Uh, provided uh, card services in many, many different venues, right? In the church, at universities, colleges, seminars, classrooms, hearings, uh, in the courtroom, just many, many places uh, where there is a spoken word, I have provided card services. Uh, rarely will you see card at a deposition, but I have actually provided card services uh, to a hard of hearing individual at uh, uh, that couple depositions. Like I said, it's very rare that you will have cart at a deposition. These are the various places, just some, some uh, pictures of places that I have worked at uh, through the years. Uh, the federal, uh, Boston, Massachusetts Federal Courthouse and uh, BU School of Law, Harvard uh, Law School, I worked there with you know, many students going through law school worked at Boston University at their law school, and also did general classes, psychology classes, architecture, uh, a host of classes through the years. Uh, this is my church here in uh, Dorchester, Massachusetts, Bethlehem Healing Temple Church. And at Bethlehem, I provided CART services uh, over seven years on a volunteer basis. I did provide a service uh, for uh, those who were hard of hearing at the church until um, I was told that they, it was no longer necessary. One of our members uh, was an elderly gentleman and he used to serve for many years until he passed away. And he was very appreciative of, of the CART services, being able to uh, read what our pastor was preaching. Our pastor was just preaching so passionately and uh, with the microphone, of course, for a, a deaf or hard hearing individual, it's hard, right? It's hard to be able to discern and decipher what's being said when your hearing has been affected. So he was very happy to be able to receive cart services in the church. Uh, to the right of that uh, photograph is a meeting, a picture of a meeting where I provided uh, cart, uh, projected cart services. So sometimes, you know, cart can be projected onto a screen. Sometimes it's on the television screen. Sometimes it's just on your computer screen and people are sitting next to you, near you, are uh, reading the captions. I started uh, providing Total Eclipse training in August of 2016 until the present day. I am continuing to continuing to provide Total Eclipse training. Uh, training with Tari Gibson. Yes, I have used the Total Eclipse software for over 20 years, and this gives my students the opportunity to go through the manual 
with a reporter who is experienced using the software on a daily basis. Uh, my students, when they work with me, they receive not only training, but they are mentored and coached. You know, it's, uh, it's really exciting, right, to uh, work with a, with a uh, experienced individual because when you're one-on-one, -on -one, you kind of develop a relationship or report with one another. We begin to share our lives and things that are going on in the world. So it becomes uh, sort of like a friendship, but of course we, we stay professional and uh, it's just really a very dynamic uh, relationship when we have that Total Eclipse Foundation training. It also allows the student to be able to ask the questions that are needed as they go along through the training. Uh, there are some things that are going to happen for the student as they're going through, uh, through training. Uh, one or more things can happen, uh, producing transcripts quicker, you know, having a better understanding of the software, becoming more efficient, and then new scopists will understand the difference of how the scopists will use the software versus how the court reporter will use the software. And court reporters will understand or have the ability to work better with their scopists. You know, that role of who does what, all that is explained in, uh, during the training along with learning how to use the, the uh, software. I think it's so important to have a, a good relationship with your court reporter hiring someone to work with you. And sometimes uh, people are at a loss, like, okay, how do I do this, right? So during the training, we also uh, teach about, uh, give some uh, mentorship on that. Uh, when someone has come through uh, the training, when the training is complete, you will get a, a certificate of completion uh, given to those who have demonstrated they had uh, the knowledge and understanding. There will be quizzes and also demonstration of knowledge and also homework. And uh, the way we train, we use a Zoom meeting uh, for our training and we share the screens. Uh, I allow the student to share the screen and to actually go through the steps as we are training and as we're teaching uh, them how to use uh, the Total Eclipse software. This gives them an opportunity to have hands-on experience uh, while they're using the software in their training. So we're encouraging you to sign up today and we hope that this presentation um, will uh, give you the information you need uh, to sign up for Total Eclipse training at gibsonskilldevelopment.com. We're going to talk now about some editing tips. We're going to just talk a little briefly about some editing tips. And these are some of the things that we, uh, we cover in our Total Eclipse training. How do we produce transcripts? Well, we have what's called stenographic notes. You know, many years ago, we used a steno machine and we were manually writing on the machine, and then we would have to uh, use a typewriter to transcribe. Nowadays, we have this uh, Total Eclipse software, and of course, there are many other um, companies that have come up and created uh, these programs. But we have what's, what are actually called stenographic notes, and they're now in digital format. And so those digital notes are translated uh, in real time. They're either translated in real time um, as proceedings are progressing, or we transcribe them later. And then what comes next is the editing that has to be done. When we're uh, about to produce the transcript, the, the uh, stenographic portion has been done. Now it's time to produce the transcript. It's time to get ready to produce that transcript. And so what are some things that we need, right, that we would need uh, to produce this transcript? One, one thing we need is the case caption. So uh, we, we uh, request the uh, deposition notice uh, from the attorneys, or if we're in the courtroom, we can get uh, a pre the pretrial memorandum, or we can get those uh, answers to interrogatories that can give us some information to help us as we're going through uh, working on the transcript. 
Of course, we're going to get the names of the attorneys on many occasions. You know what? We don't get the names of the attorneys until we're on the job. And so uh, it would be nice to know who's going to show up, but that's not always the case. So we have that caption, but we can't, uh, you know, in some cases we know that, you know, if it's just two attorneys, right, a plaintiff and a defendant, and there's only uh, one representation on each side, you can pretty be safe that those are the two attorneys who are going to show up. But many times we get those deposition notices and it's like, you know, four or five attorneys representing the plaintiff, four or five attorneys representing the defendant. Well, in those cases, uh, we don't want to create our, um, our tokens for our attorneys until we're on the job, until we really know who's actually going to show up. And so once we're on the job, we will create a list. Uh, of names and we will give our tokens for uh, transcribing the names. Then we want to create what's called a word list. This word list will be helpful for our scopus, court reporters who hire scopus, we will create a word list. Um, sometimes I call it the worksheet and this is what we give to our scopus to help them while they are working on the transcript. Now, as you are editing, uh, the Total Eclipse software allows us to make comments and to make notes uh, to, so to help us be efficient while we are uh, editing the transcript. We can make comments for our, our scopus. Our comments can be made by the scopus uh, for the court reporter asking questions and, and, and asking for verification and, and, and things of that sort. Uh, we can even um, make comments in our dictionaries to help us. And uh, also we can do research right through our Total Eclipse software. We can connect to the internet while we're editing the transcript to look up uh, words, names, and uh, things to help us uh, to produce the transcript. So we have a testimonial we would like to share with you uh, of a federal official who has 25 years of experience as a court reporter, and she had never taken a, a course or training uh, of the Total Eclipse software, and she felt that there was more that she could learn and decided to sign up for Total Eclipse Foundation training. And so she's been using this software for 15 years, yet she felt that she needed to get that training. And so we would like to share with you her experience uh, after having five sessions, she, she was able to report to me uh, some exciting news. So let's see if we can get that up for you now. We are proud to present a testimonial of a student who signed up for one-on-one -on -one foundation training with Tariq Gibson, an authorized Total Eclipse trainer. She has improved her skills using the Total Eclipse software, which has allowed her to improve her real-time score. So do you want to share your happy news about your testing? I got a 94 on my real-time test, which is the best score I've ever had. And the time before I took it, which was before I started working with three, um, I got an 87. So that's a lot of difference. So you believe that the uh, training with me has helped, the total yes. foundation training has helped you improve your real time? Yes, def cool. definitely, definitely. Yeah. And next time I'm gonna pass because next time I take it, I'll have completed the course and uh, I'll be a whiz. Very, very good. And I look forward to hearing the good news. <laughs> and we know what to focus on. We're gonna focus on that punctuation and uh, awareness of words and, and uh, practice as you're working as a federal official. Each day you focus on something. Very good. Very good. You're welcome. We are accepting students. Sign up today for your one-on-one -on -one foundation training with Tariq Gibson. You will improve 
your efficiency, you will improve your skills, and you can improve your real-time skills because now you would have learned how to use the Total Eclipse software efficiently so that you can perform on a higher level. So we have showed you the uh, little testimonial. I hope that people were able to, uh, I hope we hope you were able to uh, hear and see uh, that uh, testimonial. So uh, this uh, reporter took the, to the uh, Total Eclipse Foundation training and it actually, because she became more uh, familiar and uh, was able to uh, work the Total Clip software on a higher level, it actually improved her real-time writing skills. So you're gonna find that the more efficient you are with using your Total Clip software is going to improve not only your knowledge about the uh, Total Clip software, but it can also improve your writing skills and the accuracy on the transcript, okay? Now we do have a Facebook group, Total Eclipse Training with Tariq. We invite you to join us on Facebook and also to join us uh, with on our uh, Total Eclipse email list. Uh, we're gonna um, update this with some links for you below so that you can uh, check out what we have to offer you. Again, so we, we're here to, uh, to introduce ourselves to you and to uh, let you know that we are looking for students. We have room on our calendar. Uh, this is a good time to learn. Some of us uh, have some time. Um, and listen, if you're willing and able to make that financial commitment, sign up. Uh, set, set up a strategy session with me. We'll talk about uh, who you are where you are in your uh, sten stenography training, what version you are on the Total Eclipse software, because not everybody's on the same version. Um, my students uh, actually have signed up from version six up to the present, to version nine. So uh, we can help you improve your skills and to improve your efficiency using the Total Eclipse software. Uh, I thank you for uh, attending this, this little webinar on uh, YouTube and hope that you will choose me as your Total Eclipse uh, trainer. And I'm going to stop the share right here and come back and just chat with you a little bit. You know, being a court reporter has been really an exciting experience for me. You know, starting at a young age, uh, working in the field as a deposition court reporter. And the field, when you're there, you're capturing the spoken word. Uh, of course, in the beginning of our, of our uh, experience, we're, we're young and we, you know, we have the foundation knowledge, but through the years, we get better and better at our craft of capturing the uh, spoken word and producing that verbatim transcript. And it's a, it's a good feel uh, to come into. And I know many people are afraid, some people are afraid of uh, coming into the field because they feel that technology is going to um, make uh, stenography or working as a real-time reporter something uh, of the past. Well, people have been saying that for more than 30 years that court reporters, stenographers are gonna be replaced by tape recording, digital systems. Um, you cannot replace a real-time verbatim reporter with technology. You need the human element in the mix, okay? And uh, people can try, you can try, but you're gonna find that when you're using uh, digital recording, relying on technology, you're gonna have errors, you're gonna have omissions, 
because you don't have the human element. You're going to have things, phrases in your transcript, like inaudible. You're going to have phrases like uh, poor quality, right? Because the system is not able to understand. And you're going to have wrong words. Uh, uh, things that were meant to be uh, an affirmative will be transcra- translated into something of a negative nature, which would be a, a total disaster. And when you're talking about a verbatim transcript, we want the right words with the right meaning um, transcribed in our transcripts. Uh, people who are hard of hearing, who are watching videos, they want a verbatim record, right? They want to be able to hear and see, you know, through the spoken word, what is being said, what's being, you know, conveyed. Uh, CART captions, uh, the method is a little bit different. It's not really considered a verbatim record. We tried to present a verbatim record in a CART caption uh, scenario, but we know that sometimes that's not possible. And sometimes we will have words that will be replaced because we know that word is not in our dictionary and it may come up as an untranslate. So we want to make sure that uh, the, con- the uh, content is conveyed uh, as clearly as possible. So we will sometimes substitute words. Um, which is a little bit different than providing what's called a verbatim record. So the, um, it's a really uh, exciting field. It's great for those who uh, love to write, uh, you love words, you love working with words, uh, you're very good with grammar, uh, or you're willing to learn. Now, remember, through time and experience, your grammar will get better. Your, uh, your, um, Punctuation skills will get better. They will improve uh, with proper training and with experience and with time. So we are encouraging you to uh, consider to read Gibson, who is an authorized Total Eclipse trainer. That's me. Yes, that's me. Uh, We're encouraging you to sign up uh, today. We are open to receive uh, students. And before our calendar gets too full, uh, now is the time to get trained while you have downtime, while your mind is clear and that you're willing to make an investment in yourself. Now, we're not offering free training. There is a fee associated with the training. It's professional training that you're going to receive. Now, what does that look like? What does does training uh, look like? Uh, Training, we meet in a Zoom meeting where we're able to share our screens with one another. And uh, usually the training is two and a half hours and we meet for 10 sessions twice a month because there's a lot of homework, things that have to be worked through. Uh, The student does have access to the uh, trainer for questions and comments. And uh, and if we need to uh, create a video to clarify some things, we will do that. Also, we encourage our students to keep their check support. And as a matter of fact, Uh, With Advantage, they have uh, a student version of the software. So while you're training, you do not have to pay the full price. So you can contact Advantage at EclipseCat.com, purchase the software, let them know that you have signed up. The important thing about getting that student software, you have to be signed up in a program. Okay, so once you have signed up with me, then you're going to sign up, you're going to purchase your software through the Advantage uh, company. And then once you have completed your training with me, then you will have to make arrangements to update your software to the professional level so that you can start to work as a, as a scopist with court reporters. And of course, those of you who are professional court reporters already, you're, you're all set because you have the software, you've been working with it, and um, you have your tech support. We always encourage people, keep your tech support, keep your tech support. You never know when you're going to need to call tech support to help you because of some technical difficulty. Uh, Once you learn how to use the software, you're using it for a while, while, uh, you will get comfortable using the software. And you'll feel like, you know what, I don't need tech support. And some of us, many people have actually said, you know what, I I have learned the software, I know it, I have a firm foundation, and then they'll let their, their, their technical support labs. And so I want to encourage you, listen, um, at some point, you're going to need to call tech support. 
uh, forums are not going to be able to help you um, when it gets into a, a technical uh, difficulty. Um, the company will allow for uh, support by call. Uh, so I don't know, I do not know the fees for that. So you would have to do the research, you know, contact the company. And make sure you understand, you know, about the software, the fees that are involved and your responsibility while you're using the software. Uh, they're giving you a license to use the software uh, as a student. And also when you go into your professional role as a court reporter, they're giving you a license to use that software. Okay, so get a good understanding how all that works and you'll be golden. All right, so uh, if there are no questions, I'm gonna check, let me see if I can check online and see if there are any questions. I've been on for uh, quite a while here. All right, so I see no questions. And of course, uh, through time, as this uh, video will be up on YouTube for quite a while, as the questions come and comments come, I will uh, get an answer to you within, uh, hopefully within 24 hours, if I'm not too busy with the students or working as a court reporter. You know, as I'm teaching Total Eclipse, I'm also working as a court reporter. Now, today is May the 19th, 2020. And we're in a pandemic right now. And um, many people are, are uh, have free time right now. They have time available to actually sign up for, for training, to get the training done. And uh, there are people, they have savings. You have money available. Yes, you do. Uh, and we also provide uh, payment plans. For those of you who need a payment plan, we do uh, provide that. Uh, for those who need it, okay? So get the training that you need. Get the training that you want. Get the training that's going to help you be efficient using the Total Eclipse software. A Total Eclipse Foundation train, training for individuals or for groups. Uh, the topic chosen by the student, which is for those who have been using the Total Eclipse software for a while and they now feel like, you know what, I need to learn this software a little bit better. And, um, and so they feel a need, right? A need and a want. Yes, I want Tariq Gibson to be my trainer. <laughs> Sign up today. Yes. And also, we have that uh, survey, that Total Eclipse survey available for those of you who uh, are users of the software and you want to see where you are. There's, we have a, uh, a questionnaire that kind of covers all the details, all the uh, major topics that you should know. And as you're doing that survey, it'll give you a good understanding of where you, where you land, right? Where you are uh, with the software. There is a small fee uh, to take the survey. So take the survey, pay the fee, uh, and then we will uh, have a, a strategy session. We'll have a session and talk about uh, the survey. Uh, the strategy session itself is free. You're just paying for the survey and the time that it's going to take us to assess the survey. And then we, we can give you a written um, response back or we can actually have a chat and talk about what training we would uh, recommend for you um, uh, for the Total Eclipse software. All right. So being no questions, we're going to uh, uh, close out now. And again, my name is Tari Gibson. I am an authorized Total Eclipse trainer. And uh, our company is called Gibson Skill Development and Training Center, LLC. And we offer training. Our goal is to offer Total Eclipse training and also stenographic training for those who would like to learn how to read stenography or uh, get an introduction into stenography. Okay, so that is our focus, that is our goal. Uh, those of you who come to our, um, our Skill Development Training Center website, you'll see that we also provide a personal and spiritual development um, some, uh, little courses and, and things. And we've also created a mindful, spiritual mindfulness crossword puzzle um, little membership and we're creating crossword puzzles uh, for mindfulness, you know, for a spiritual thought, and uh, and hope that you would take a peek at that. 
there are a couple uh, search puzzles that we created. So we're creating search puzzles and crossword puzzles. And uh, we're connecting those things with uh, some things that we're teaching uh, to give you time to sit and to think about the words and also to maybe do some journaling, a little journaling in, in the crossword uh, puzzle itself. Okay, so if there are any questions or comments, you know, give them to us and uh, we'll be glad to respond uh, within 24 hours if we're able to. We would like to close by saying be safe um, in this time and uh, let's get busy. Let's not allow this pandemic to cause us to become slack. Let's, let's get busy. Let's uh, love our families. We try to be as positive as we can be. And, uh, and get that training, mentorship, and coaching that you need during this time. Because once you know, things start to open up and we get back to a new normal, we're gonna be busy, 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 busy people, right? Here in Massachusetts, we're already going through phase one of opening up our economy. And so soon we're all gonna be open and out and about in a new normal. And uh, so we wanna be ready, we wanna have some training, and, or get that process started, right? Uh, getting the training that we need because we are court reporters, we're professional court reporters, or we're people who want to work with court reporters, which are called scopists. We work on transcripts, we help assist court reporters. And so you need the training also. All right, so be blessed, and we hope to see you again in the next video or the next YouTube broadcast.